By now, everybody should know that Russia was attacked and ISIS is claiming they're, they're the ones that did it. They have released a video showing that they're the ones that did it. You have the American government saying, hey, we warned you March 7th or 8th, somewhere around in there, that something was going to happen to stay away from venues. You know, that the United States intelligence is that good, right? They know way before something's going to happen. To me, that kind of sounds like a pre-planned event, doesn't it? That you know knowledge beforehand of when something's going to happen. You may be in on the planning, right? Or you may be in on who's actually doing it. You know, Russia, of course, is, claim is claiming it's Ukraine that did it. What's this going to do over there? I don't know. I don't know. Could it broaden the war? You would think so. I know if the United States got hit like that, more than likely we would be at war with ISIS again, right? Yeah. Now is Russia going to start a war with ISIS? If you remember back, something people are forgetting since this happened, back when they first invaded Ukraine, we were hearing reports that ISIS was sending soldiers to help Russia, right? It's, it's got crazy. Everybody's doing this, everybody's doing that, and you know, all of us is out there like, what's going on? Trust me, the people in charge, they know what's going on. They know who's at play here, who's doing this, and who's doing that, right? They're all playing each side against each other. We have said it repeatedly on here. This is like smoke and mirrors, right? A big wrestling show. We've said this repeatedly. They're, they're enemies in front of your face, but they're buddy buddies behind the door, right? The stuff going on in Ukraine it still does not make sense to me why we've got that much money, equipment, and all that involved over there. What is going on over there that is causing this, right? For us to just keep sending money. I don't know. Some of y'all are going to tell me it's because Biden gets kickback, right? Doesn't make a lot of sense for that to be the only reason. There's got to be something else going on over there or they're trying to hide over there that they don't want everybody else knowing about. Plain and simple. Now, what will Russia do from this attack, right, this terrorist attack? Whatever they want to do. If it was our country and somebody attacked us, would we not have the right to stand up and do something? Yeah. Is it going to cause an all-out war? I don't know. I really don't know. The definitions of everything has changed here lately. We know that. You, you can't say certain words because they don't mean what they used to mean. You know, you can't even say illegal immigrants no more. There's, there's some other type of people. War, the economy, inflation, all this stuff has changed definitions of what it's always meant our whole life, right? We're already at war. Plain and simple. We are already at war. We're in this war. We just physically don't have troops on in, in country over there yet, right? Which we do have, more than likely, special forces, CIA spooks and things like that already over there. But our full military is not over there, right? So they can sit back and say, hell, we, we're not in this. No, we're not in this. We got advisors, advisors. Vietnam, we had advisors in Vietnam. We all know how that went, right? There's more to play they want to reset the world economy, right? Because they all see what's going on is, is falling apart, right? That countries' economies are crap. Ours is in the, ours is well below, well gone, right? Our economy is well gone. The only way to fix our economy is either a huge war or crash it and start it all back over, right? And one of them eventually is going to happen here. It just seems that more and more things are coming quicker and quicker and quicker, right? It's like every day you turn on a, on a news channel or a YouTube, anything, something's happening over here and something's happening over there. But the whole time you never hear, hey, we're going to come out here and we're going to help the American people before we help every other country in the world, right? We have people here in America that are starving. We got people here in America that's homeless. We got people here that's in, in bad health that can't get no help. But yet illegal immigrants can come across the border and they get phones, they get money, they get free housing, they probably get set up with jobs and everything else too, right? But they won't help the American people. American people do not come first. And what's funny about this is we are the ones who pay for all this stuff that the government does. It's not the government taking money out of their wallet saying, here you go, here you go, you know. It's us. The taxpayers is who funds all this stuff. That's who funds everything around here. They've seemed to have forgotten that, right? The government thinks it's just a free-for-all spend-all, right? Just you get a check, you get a check, right? It's got to that point. You got all this going on with Russia. Why are we antagonizing Russia so much? Why? Are we wanting a war with them? Are we wanting an excuse to do something that will reset the economy, right? 
Of course, you'll hear everybody say that Russia is going to use nuclear weapons. Russia is going to use nuclear weapons. Well, who remembers what Biden said if Russia uses a nuclear weapon? Biden clearly said, we will respond with conventional weapons, which means we'll, we won't respond nuclear, right? Do you believe that? Do you trust that? What else has Biden told us in the last year and a half? We will not send tanks. We will not send F-16s. We will not send offensive weapons. What has happened? It's all going to Ukraine, right? We're sending all that over there. And he said if he did that, that would be World War III. That would be us fighting Russia. That would be World War III. But yet, the definitions have changed again, right? What we're doing is not what he said. We, you know, It's gotten to the point where you just go, what, what, where are we living? What type of world are we living in, right? Pretty much whatever Biden tells you he's not going to do, you might as well just count on him doing it, right? And then all his handlers and all that will change the definitions oh no he didn't mean that he meant if we sent our troops over there you know flying the f-16s then we're at war see we are at war plain and simple it's just not the type of war that we are used to seeing it's not it's not let's line our people up here their people here and let's go at it right it's not that type of war no more it's all this covert you know let's blame everybody else but yet we're actually the ones sending these people or do it but we can wash our hands of it because we give X amount of money to these people over here and they can claim that they did it, right? And then everybody's mad at them and then in a week or two something else will happen and they'll be mad at this group over here and they just keep everybody's head spinning, right? Well, eventually these two big powers that honestly are probably still talking, they're probably like, hey, you know, this is going to happen, that's going to happen and they're like, okay, as long as we get this and get that. But eventually that's going to fall apart and they're going to do this. They're going to clash, you know? The two biggest bullies on the block eventually are going to run into each other, right? Plain and simple. And when they run into each other, there's two ways it can go. One turns around and walks away, or they go at it. More than likely, they're going to go at it. It depends on how. I think it's this election this year, not if Trump wins or if Biden wins. This election this year, if we make it to this election without something major happening, like major, major, not not little stuff i mean something major that draws us into a physical war or possibly a nuclear weapon i still don't see a use for it but who's to say somebody wouldn't use it just so they can just control people right somebody sets a nuke off that's going to get everybody in the world in a panic right everybody's immediately going to be thinking this is it this is the end of the world but it could be a situation where hey you know, we're going to put this nuke over here, make sure your people's not there, but we're going, you know, it's going to be a big story in the news, but you know we're doing it type. Okay, well, we'll set over here and we'll blame you and blah, 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 right? To keep the panic going. Eventually, these things are going to come to a head and everything's going to fall apart. The election that's coming up here in America, you know, everybody, Trump's going to win, Trump's going to win. You know, I, Trump's in the, in the same boat as the rest of them, right? He, he tells you one thing and does another. Some of you get mad about that, right? I voted for Trump. When he was sitting there telling us he was going to build the wall and make Mexico pay for it, I was laughing like, well, you know, that's a good idea if that's not going to happen, but I like him better than I like this other guy, right? You, Trump's going to come in and make peace all over the world is what everybody's thinking, and he's going to deport all these immigrants. The, I've said this before. If Trump deports, if he wins and he deports all these millions of illegal immigrants that come across the border here in the last couple of years, who's going to pay for it? You and I. We're okay for paying for that, right? What's well, getting rid of our problem? And then they're just going to start a problem with somebody else. Plain and simple. This is just a whole big show, and we're sitting here like glued to it, right? Like what's happening here and what's happening there. Oh, I don't like that person because of this. I don't like that person because of that. When they're all involved in it. They're all involved. They're all making money off of it. They're all telling you one thing to get you on their side, and then when they get you on your side, what happens? Well, guess what? They change what they're saying, right? Everybody's, I mean, you, you Trump, he brought, he was all for the red uh, red flag laws, right? To get, get your, your firearms taken away for, from you if you didn't even commit a crime. He was for that. People forget that kind of stuff, right? People's like, oh, yeah, he did say that, but he meant something else. There's no in-betweens. There's not. You know, that's just the way our government is set up now. They're going to draw us into something that's just going to destroy us. And uh, us, you and I, are the ones that's going to have to constantly pay for this stuff. Constantly. They start a little war over here, it comes out of our pocket. Maybe our kids have to go fight it. 
despite the war. We, it, they don't have to risk what we risk every day. They don't. Plain and simple, they don't. Little rambling here. Head still foggy. Give you a little bit of health update if you're not interested in it. I understand. Hope you have a good day. But all right, we got kidney stones going on. I passed several in the past week. They didn't see any on the way out when they did the CT scan. But supposedly I'm having something going on with my prostate. Got some medication for it. I'm still not sure if anything's going on with it. But we're gonna see where that goes. Got. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know as well as I do, you go to the doctor nowadays, they just kind of pick one thing and go with it, right? We're going to treat you for this, even though you may not have this or this or that, right? So we're going to see what happens. We're going to give it a couple days, see if it starts easing up or anything like that. Kidney stones, I've had them before. I've passed all my kidney stones except for one several years ago. I made a video on it on here. They had to go in and take it out, and that wasn't no fun. It, Hopefully these, they tell me they're all passable size. They should come out. There's several in there, you know, and I've passed, I want to say five in the last week, five or six in the last week I've passed. But kidney stones ain't no fun. A lot of people on here tell me, you know, they've had kidney stones too. I, I've learned myself what hurts the most is when they're moving. Like when they're sitting still, it's not that bad, but when they move, that's when they start hurting. And that's one thing that's kind of lucky for me with my back issues and my diabetes being out of control I have a lot of numbness from about mid chest down so it hurts but not I don't feel it the way I used to feel it when a kidney stone would move I, I still know it's there what sent me yesterday was it felt like somebody was kicking me in my my nether regions I guess is what we can say on here it was hurting pretty bad hurting all the way up in my up into my ribs and everything but there's the health update. We didn't get a video up yesterday because when I come, I made a post, told you I was going to put a video up when I got home. I came home, sat down, and the next thing I know it was 6 a.m. and I had to get up this morning. I had to start dealing with batteries on equipment and things like that because it seems here lately every battery I'm having is dying for some reason. I'm having to put them on chargers and stuff. I don't know. Maybe y'all know what's going on with the batteries. Maybe we've had a solar flare and I don't know about it or something like that, but Guys, there's an update. Thank you to everybody who commented on my post yesterday and my shorts yesterday. It's life. We're dealing with it, right? It gets scary at times. It hurts at times. But, you know, we're pushing through it. We're going to try to get through this. Everybody stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person who can do it. Stay safe. Keep prepping. And give me your thoughts on this Russia incident. Who do you think is actually behind it? Do you think it's the USA? Do you think it's Ukraine? Do you think it's ISIS? Do you think it's Hamas? Who do you think is behind it? Comment on this video. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Most of my videos aren't this long. Welcome to all you new subscribers and thank you for helping us grow. Stay safe. Keep prepping. We'll get a video up tomorrow.